Hello, Dr. O'Rourke. I'm Joseph Mayer, and this is my daughter, Kylie Mayer, and she's going to become a skilled performer of the barbell bench press. So first, we want to see what, how you perform the barbell bench press. So hop on the bench, and let's see what you got. Okay, hop on up. So the first thing I notice is your base of support and then your hand placement. But we'll work on that as you get back on the bench. Before you get there, we need to know the muscles that are going to be used and the joints are going to be used. All right, and how to strengthen those individually so that when you get back onto the, the uh, bench, you can get them all to work together. So you have the glenohumeral joint, which is your shoulder, your elbow, and your scapula. You have two motions through the glenohumeral. You have at 90 degrees, you have horizontal adduction, abduction. Okay, we can strengthen the pectoralis by a pec fly machine. So the concentric phase would be as you squeeze together, so you'd be squeezing here. And the eccentric phase is the relaxing of it. Okay, you can flip your hands over and do, let's turn it here. As you come apart, You'd be squeezing the back, so this would be your concentric phase and your eccentric phase. All right, and those, so that's glenohumeral adduction, abduction. Glenohumeral flexion would be for your anterior deltoid, which would be a front raise. And straight out. Okay, a little bit is okay. Flexion and then the extension. So your extension would be your eccentric phase, flexion would be your concentric phase. Okay, so that's your glenohumeral joint. You have your elbow, extender, and flexor. So the flexor here, the biceps brachii, so doing a curl weight in your hand, you're pulling the weight up. That's your concentric phase. Relaxing it is your eccentric phase. Flipping your hand over with the weight wanting to pull you up, you're pushing down. This is for your triceps, bra uh, triceps brachii. That's your concentric phase. Eccentric is the relaxing of it uh, on the way up. Okay, turning around one more time, we have a row machine, okay, so a row, cable row, uh, row machine, pulling here, you're having scapula retraction as you're squeezing, and protraction as you're releasing. Last one, you have your lat pull down, working your latissimus dorsi, as you pull down here, this is your concentric phase because you're pulling the weight against the force of, of what's uh, trying to keep it down, and then as you relax, that's the eccentric phase. All right, so now up on the bench, we have your, your muscles that are being used, your joints that are being used. Now we need to get your uh, stabilizing down. Base of support is important. Feet flat on the ground, no tippy toes. Your hips want to be on the bench, so lay in the supine position. Scapulas contacting the bench as well. Grab the bar just outside of shoulder width. This helps us with both uh, glenohumeral abduction, adduction, and glenohumeral flexion extension. Having the hands out wider would give us glenohumeral adduction, I mean horizontal abduction, adduction, and then having them closer together would be more targeting for flexion extension. Okay. Uh, we're gonna bring the bar off. We're gonna squeeze the scapulas together. As you lower, Nice fluid motion, perfect. Come here, and then you're gonna come right above the eyes. Right there, down again, up again. Time for the lift is important, you can put it up. Time for the lift is important. If you want to do bodybuilding, you're going to have a uh, slower eccentric phase with a good power off. Hypertrophy is fluid motion, one second down, no rest, one second up. Okay, and for sports, Things like explosive pushing, pulling, you would have a nice down, but explode up. All right, so now you're a skilled performer. Thank you very much, and thank you.